Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video we are going to learn about a question that is asked from 1HNMR, the Larmor frequency of the 1HNMR spectrum. Okay, what is given to us is, okay, we'll write down the given data. This is, these are the given data. So let us first write down the given data, what is given for a proton gyromagnetic ratio gamma. Okay, gamma is the symbol for gyromagnetic ratio that is given 26.752 into 10 raised to 7 radian per tesla okay larmor frequency that is represented by gamma okay omega sorry this is what this is this is we have to calculate okay and what else is given external magnetic field b is given or b naught is given that is 21.1 tesla so what is this radian? That is something interesting. So I'll tell you how we get that. So initially, if you see the formula, Larmor frequency is equal to, okay, the frequency or gamma, the gyromagnetic ratio, if it is in radians, okay, radian per second, okay, multiplied by external magnetic field, that is B. If, okay, if you want to, what is frequency in hertz? Frequency in hertz is, okay, whatever uh, frequency is given in radian per second, okay, angular frequency in radian per second divided by 2 pi. Okay, so this is what, this is we can say angular frequency, okay. This is already we have taken omega, so we can call this as omega dash. Okay, so this, this formula you might have studied. 2 pi f angular frequency is 2 pi into linear uh, frequency of the linear motion okay or we can say linear frequency this is the angular frequency okay so this is the relation so this gamma dash we substitute by gamma by 2 pi okay that is how we get the final formula that we see in most of the textbooks that is what larmor frequency Okay, gamma, uh, omega is what? Omega is Larmor frequency or precisional frequency of the proton. Okay, Larmor frequency or precisional frequency means the proton okay, spins around its axis. That is called as the along this. Okay, it spins like a top. That is meaning of Larmor frequency. Okay, this is gamma by 2 pi. What is gamma? Gamma is the gyromagnetic ratio or gyromagnetic ratio. Okay, multiplied by B naught. Now this, this final answer that we get will be in hertz. Okay, so now we can substitute the given values. Everything is given to us. We have to calculate gamma. Sorry, omega that is the Larmor frequency. Gyromagnetic ratio is given 26.752 into 10 raised to 7. Okay, radian per tesla into magnetic field is how much? B naught is? 21.1 tesla okay divide by okay when we are dividing it by 2 pi okay dividing it by 2 pi pi value is 3.14 so automatically we had seen this relation what will happen this radian has now we have converted this into hertz okay radian we have converted into hertz by dividing it by 2 pi okay so solve this this answer comes out to be 8.98 into 10 raised to 9 Okay, 8.98 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. And we want the answer in which units? In megahertz. What is megahertz? 1 megahertz is how much? 10 raised to 6 hertz. Correct? So, the final answer I will write here. 8.98 into 10 raised to 9. I can write it as 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to... Okay, this we will get 10 raised to 8. Okay, not 9. This we will get 10 raised to 8. So, 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to 2. Right? 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to 2. So, I can write this as 8.98 into 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 6. Final answer is hertz. Okay, Tesla and Tesla inverse get cancelled. What is remaining is hertz. So, you multiply this by 100. We will get 898. And 10 raised to 6 hertz is 1 megahertz. So, this is the final answer. 898, you can round off to 900. Okay, 900 megahertz. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option 4. 
Okay, so in this way you have to do the unit conversion. It's very important. 1 megahertz is 10 raised to 6 hertz. Okay, so I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.